Namaste, this is Monica and I welcome you to this strong morning yoga practice. So if you are looking for a practice which can work on your arm strength, core strength, and if you want to start your morning really strong, then this is a perfect practice for you. We will be exploring some planks, chaturangas, vinyasas, some balancing asanas and core building asanas. Um, I also feel that strong practices work on your mental strength as well at the same time because you do get out of your comfort zone. This practice is more towards intermediate and advanced side. So if you are a beginner and you're deciding to practice this uh, to work on your strength, that's fine. But make sure that you're listening to your body and following beginner's variation that is comfortable for you. So let's get started. Let's meet on the mat and explore this practice together. Sitting in a cross leg position. Place your palms over your thighs gently. Close your eyes. Align your neck with your spine and your hips. They are all one line. Relax your shoulders. And feel your body weight sinking down onto the mat. You're just letting it go. Pay attention to your breath. Maybe noticing how far can you feel your breath flowing in and flowing out. Starting from your nostrils to your throat, your lungs maybe. Some movement in your belly. You can feel this full expansion in the chest as you inhale and contraction as you exhale. Bring your awareness back to your surroundings. Join your palms to the heart center. Take a deep breath in. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. As you exhale, open your eyes, place your palms over your thighs, inhale, lift your chin up, look up towards the ceiling, exhale, relax your spine, chin to the chest, feel that movement in your spine as well. As you make this movement in your neck, inhale up, exhale, chin to the chest, inhale, exhale, chin to the chest, one more time, inhale. Exhale, chin to the chest. Coming back to the center, you can continue to sit in the cross leg position or maybe moving into Gomukhasana. So you can bring your right knee over the left knee, your feet next to your hips, and then stretch your right arm up. Bend your elbow, place your palm behind your back, palm facing your back, and then take your left arm also to your back. Try and catch hold of your palms. Open your chest, keep your chin parallel to the floor. One, two, three, four, 
five as you exhale release you can also use the belt if your your palms don't reach or just keep your palms wherever they reach exchange your legs this time left knee over the right one and stretch the left left arm up bend your elbow take your right arm back catch hold of your palms and relax your shoulders one two three four and five as you exhale release now stretch your arms up as you inhale and exhale to we are going to bend halfway through use your core strength here you can change the position to cross leg as well or continue in the shoelace use your core strength to hold up one two arms pulling out three four five inhale come back to the center exhale palms on the side swing your knees back to sit in vajrasana sitting over your heels if you want place a cushion under your hips now over here there are two options you can either place your palms behind and start to lift your knees off the floor or if you can you use your core strength place your palms over the knees lift your torso slightly engaging your core and start lifting your knees off the floor stretching your ankles one two without rounding your spine three four five exhale bring your knees back down palms on in front of you take your knees back to move into cat and cow tabletop position align your shoulders with your wrist hips with your knees inhale press your chest down chin up arch your spine exhale chin to the chest round your spine up inhale keep repeating exhale chin to the chest round up tailbone down inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale coming back to the center inhale to stretch your right leg out rotate your left shin to the back opening your right arm and chest to the front you can stay here or alternatively if you can lift your right foot off and bend the right knee catching hold of your right foot and then sending that knee back as far as you can one two maybe looking over your right shoulder or to the front three four and five back to the center and let us change the side one two three four five come back to the center back to on your force and stretch your right leg out again bending your elbows you can stay here itself or bending the elbows bring your chest down halfway through chin forward look up look forward one two pull your navel in three four five inhale come up back to your force left leg out exhale fold forward fold down to half chaturanga one two three four five inhale to come up back to your force tuck your toes moving into your downward dog 
then if you want you can walk your heels a bit to loosen up your hamstrings right knee in then the left knee in and you can keep repeating bend your knees from here exhale step or jump forward inhale half lift exhale head into fold inhale arms all the way up join your palms tuck your tailbone in lift your torso pull your navel in looking at your thumbs breathe and exhale release interlace your fingers turn your palms up as you inhale pull your navel in and start to lift your heels off the floor one two three four five balancing on your toes and exhale to slowly come down moving back into your tarasana take a breath here and then we move to surya namaskara a inhale arms up join your palms look at your thumbs exhale to fold forward inhale head up look up exhale to step or jump back to your plank lower down to chaturanga inhale upward dog look up to the ceiling and relax your shoulders exhale roll or tuck your toes to move into the downward dog pressing your chest towards your thighs sending those hips back your feet your palms are strongly rooted relax your shoulders and jaw stay connected with your breath and as you exhale bend your knees to step or jump forward inhale half lift exhale head into fold inhale arms up exhale samasthiti inhale exhale to fold inhale head up exhale to your plank chaturanga inhale of a dog exhale downward dog finding the lengthening in your arms in your armpits going and this lengthening is going all the way back up to your torso and your hips and as you exhale bend your knees to step or jump forward inhale half lift exhale head into fold inhale arms up join your palms look at your thumbs exhale neutral position inhale exhale to fold over inhale exhale to your plank lower down inhale exhale downward dog and as you exhale bend your knees to step or jump forward inhale half lift exhale head into fold inhale arms up join your palms exhale neutral position to one round of surya namaskara b bend your knees inhale arms up sweep up exhale to fold over inhale head up exhale to your plank lower down inhale of a dog exhale downward dog bring your right leg forward left heel on the floor align your knee with your heel arms all the way up join your palms maybe looking at your thumbs or forward and as you exhale bring your arms back down moving into your plank and lower down inhale of a dog exhale downward dog bring your left leg forward inhale virabhadrasana join your palms and as you exhale back to your 
plank lower down inhale exhale downward dog one two three four and five bend your knees to step or jump forward inhale half lift exhale head in inhale to your chair pose we want to hold here for up to five breath finding your rooting through your feet here and your stability by engaging your glutes soft engagement in your core pulling that navel in Join your palms from here and start to lift your left leg up, sending the left leg back for Virabhadrasana C, bringing your chest down. One, two, three, four, five. Moving back into your chair pose again. And from here, changing the side lift your right leg up and slowly bring your chest down sending your right leg back one two three four and five moving back into your chair pose join your palms to the heart center Exhale to twist to your left, left elbow outside your right knee. You can stay here or if possible for you, take your left leg back. And sliding that left foot back. Looking up towards your right shoulder. Engaging your cords, holding up against the gravity using your cord strength here. And as you exhale, come back to the center into the high lunge, the back heel lifted. And if you can, step your left leg directly to the top of your mat, keeping your knees bent. Twist to your left, right elbow outside your right uh, left knee and stepping that right leg back keeping your knee lifted if possible looking over your left shoulder a few more breaths here bring your palms back to the heart center high lunge Back heel lifted. Lifting the torso up. And step to the top of the mat again. Inhale, arms up. Join your palms together. Exhale to fold over. Inhale, head up. Exhale to your plank, lower down, inhale, of a dog, exhale, downward dog, and from here lift your right leg up, five breath here, one, two, three, four, five, bend your right knee, bring it to your nose, under your spine, Rounding your spine up, engaging your core here. One more breath here. And again, take your right leg back. Bend your knee, bring it to your right armpit. And keep looking forward. One more breath. 
and then take your right leg back up bend your knee bring it to your left armpit again take your right leg back now you have two options either bend your knee opening your chest to the right as well as your pelvis or drop your foot over behind you lift your right arm up opening your chest up towards the ceiling send your pelvis up well done coming on the side of the uh, the left foot <coughs> And as you exhale, moving back to the neutral plank, and we're going to hold here for five breath. Look forward. Exhale to lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale downward dog lift your left leg up five breath one three four and five bend your knee bring it to your nose under your spine Taking your left leg back, bend your knee, bring it to your left armpit. Again, take your left leg back, bend your knee, bring it to your right armpit. Again, take your left leg back, stretch it up. Either open to your side, opening, bending your knee and open your pelvis or drop it over. You can look at your left palm or up towards the ceiling, sending your pelvis up. And let us now move to the neutral plank and from here we move to the side plank. So you can choose, choose either place your right foot forward, opening your chest to your front, raise your right arm up or stack your feet on top of each other. Let us change the side. And exhale back to the neutral plank and from here lower down inhale lift up exhale downward dog bend your knees again to step or jump forward inhale half lift exhale head into fold inhale arms up exhale back to your neutral position moving into the balancing asana shifting all your weight on your left foot bend your right knee you can simply hug your shin or hook your right toe with your first two fingers stretch your right foot extend your right leg in front of you left palm can be over your left hip one two <coughs> three four, five, and as you exhale, open to your right. If you can stretch the left arm onto the left side, you can do that. One, two, look in the center towards the left palm. I can't look at my left palm. Three, four, 
five back to the center release your hooks maybe arms up one use your cord strength to hold up as well as your core three four five release and let's change the side shifting all your weight to your right foot choose your variation here exhale stretch one two three four five open one two three four okay and five back to the center release one two three four and five exhale come back and start to rotate your ankles release all the tension and we are going to move to Nataraj Asana from here another balancing Asana so you can shift again all your weight to your left foot bend your right knee catching hold of your right foot with your right palm stretch the left arm up and as you exhale first start to send your knee away once you find your balance start to take your chest down one two <clears throat> three four and five exhale release change the side you can use the wall on the side of you i'm doing it on the floor because i find it much easier to balance on the floor than over my mat catching hold of your left foot inhale stretch exhale sending your knee away and then fold over one two <clears throat> three four and five exhale release and step to the top of your mat again if you want to kick your legs out release the tension from your ankles rotate the ankles and moving to the round of vinyasa inhale up so exhale fold inhale head up exhale to the plank lower down inhale up a dog as we exhale downward dog and again cross your legs sit down on your mat extend your legs out for the dasana hands on the side lift your torso catch hold of your breath <coughs> inhale raise your arms up again and exhale we're going to fold again halfway through feeling as if our arms are being stretched out one two three four and five inhale come back up in the center bend your right knee catch hold of your right foot with your left palm maybe place your right arm behind you extend your right knee out you can look over your right shoulder or lifting your right arm up as well one two three four and five release change the side inhale lift your torso exhale stretch your leg out one two three 
4 and 5. Exhale, release, bend both of your knees, hug your under thigh for the boat pose. Inhale, extend your torso up, engage your core and as you exhale, maybe lift your feet off the floor, keeping your knees bent or straight. Well done, one. Avoid rounding your back. Two. Three. Line your neck with your spine. Four. And five. Cross your legs, hands on the side. Lift your hips up, coming over your toes. Or lift your body fully up. Exhale, drop back. Backing to your boat pose, whichever variation. One. Two, <clears throat> three, allow your core to let, get that little burning sensation. Four, and five. Cross your legs, hands on the side. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. One more time. One, two, three. Four and five. Again, exhale. Cross the legs, hands on the side. Lift up and moving into your plank, Chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale. Downward dog again. Cross the legs. Sit down on your mat. Place your palms behind your hips into a forward plank. Press your palms down as you exhale, start to lift your hips off, big toes together, pointing those big toes back down. Maybe drop your head back. As you exhale slowly, bring your hips back down, cross your legs. Moving into your plank, lower down. Inhale. Exhale. Downward dog. And from here, let us lie down on our back. So for first, uh, we are going to practice one round of bridge pose and then moving to the wheel pose. Hands on the side as you exhale. Lift your hips up, keeping your knees bent. Maybe bring your shoulder blades together using your glute strength here and your quad strength to hold up, pulling your navel in. And then breathe normally after that. As you exhale, slowly come back down. You can repeat this one, or maybe with one leg up or moving into your wheel pose. Palms right next to your ears, fingers pointing to your shoulders. As you exhale, first you lift your hips off the floor, then you press your palms down and start lifting your chest and straightening your elbows as you go up. Maybe coming over your toes, lifting your heels. Keep sending, keep lengthening your arms. Exhale. Bring your hips and shoulders down before you put your head down. Head should be your last. And let us roll ourselves back up a little bit to move into Pashimottanasana with a round back. Relax your back muscles here. Let us take another round of vinyasa. Moving into your plank. Lower down. Inhale. Exhale, downward dog. And from here, place your forearms down. Interlace your fingers. Walk your feet towards your 
palms locking your shoulders so your upper body is trying to go forward but your shoulders are stopping it so creating the impact here your forearms pressing the floor away And slowly bring your legs back down if you're in Shishasana, maybe halfway through two breath there and then coming down to child pose just feeling the impact of the blood rush to the head From here, let us transition to lie down on the back. You will swing your knees forward. Moving into the twist just to relax our back muscles a bit more. So you can stretch your arms in the T shape, the twist of your choice. You can either bend both of your knees, drop, or just bend one knee and drop on the other side. Let your body be completely free, loose. Once you get into the twist, just let it be and relax. Let's change the side. Coming back to the center, extend your legs out to move into full relaxation into your Shavasana, arms away from your body and let your body be free and loose, let your body breathe. Allow your body to sink down on the mat into this relaxation. And just let it all go, whether anything that is going on in your mind or body, just simply watching it as we relax. And we are allowing everything in this moment. Watching the breath. It's connecting with the rhythm of your breath. You can sweep your awareness all throughout your body from your toes to the crown of your head. From the crown of your head back to your toes. And imagine this relaxation flowing all throughout your body. Your full body is getting heavy on the ground with this relaxation. Because you're letting go of all the control. And you can truly relax when you let go of the control. And let things be.
merging into this moment, in the present moment, completely feeling it through. You can continue in this relaxation for as long as you want. If you want to come out, bring your awareness back to your body. And start to move your toes and fingers gently. Move your head from one side to the other. You can bring your feet together, stretch your arms up, stretch your whole body. And make whatever sound you feel like making as you exhale. Bend your knees, roll over to your right and slowly come up into your sitting asana. Absorbing your whole practice and let us have faith in our practice that it is going to give you all the benefits that you have intended to receive and it is going to serve you exactly the way you thought it should. With that, I hope you are feeling a little strong uh, in your mind and body after this practice. So if you have enjoyed this practice with me, you can hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already or leave a comment if you have anything to say about this practice or if you want me to put any other practice for you. We will be closing this session with one ohm. So you can join your palms to the heart center and take a deep breath in. As you exhale, you can open your eyes. Thank you for joining me in. I wish you a wonderful day ahead. Hope to see you soon again in some other practice. Until then, bye-bye. All the love.